You don't know how long I've had to keep this a secret from you. Razor's been cooking, okay? Secretly. And finally, it's time to eat. Let's unbox Razor's newest, fastest, largest, and rarest electric pit bike ever. The new Dirt Rocket Pro Spec. Ooh, close call. Thanks for having my helmet on. Assembling it for the first time, I was disappointed that these are cable brakes. I always prefer the hydraulics, but I'm putting on the bars, putting on the plastics, taking off the plastics. This seemed like a swing and a miss. There's two positions for the rear shock. There's a comically small difference in the ride height. It does practically nothing. I feel like they could have done a lot with this design, but it, it's not given. And it doesn't come with a kickstand. It only comes with a stand. And I guess you want a kick because it sucks. This is the full lineup of Razor pit bikes now. We got the MX500, SX500, MX650, and now the Pro Spec. My MX500 and SX500 are heavily upgraded, so I've got the MX650 next to the Pro Spec to compare just how big a jump this is by way of suspension, shocks, wheels and tires, both in the front and rear, and the overall form factor. The Pro Spec is clearly the most serious pit bike racers ever made, and it's also the rarest. There is a very limited quantity of the Pro Spec, and it's not clear if they're making any more. So even if it rides like sh I'm keeping mine as a collector's item. The Pro Spec was designed with two people in mind. Young riders looking for a step up from the other Razor bikes, and hooligan adults looking for the perfect platform to build on. Believe it or not, Razor partnered with Electro and Co. to design the Pro Spec, specifically with modders in mind. You can only buy the new Razor Pro Spec from electroandcompany.com, and I do have a code on that website, so see how much Saronster 5 can save you. I only know what Razors told me, so here it is. They claim a 28 mile per hour top speed with a two hour runtime. Running a 48 volt, 20 amp hour battery and pushing 1600 watts out the motor. This is clearly Razor's most powerful bike, but you can tell by the design of these motor mounts, they're still expecting you to put a larger motor on this. And we'll play with that later in this video. It comes with the best front fork and rear shock ever on a Razor. And the first time I've seen a full twist throttle, this time with two power modes. Number one is 14 miles an hour, and two is 28 miles an hour. Got a 14 inch front wheel and 12 inch rear wheel with dirt tires. The whole bike only weighs 100 106 pounds and its max capacity is 220 pounds. So you only need one and a half of these to haul a Lizzo. Before I upgrade the Pro Spec, let's test the top speed, wheelies, and the hill climb. It's fully charged. We gotta do something with the kickstand. I really wish it was just bolted on. It's the first Razor bike that comes with a key. It goes right in on the side. Kind of sticks out where your legs are, so they've designed it where the key can flip flop. Caught me off guard the first time. Here we go. Wow, whoa! Her starting off on eco mode actually has a good amount of push. While we still have a full charge, let's go right into the top speed test. Three, two, one. Okay, it's picking up. It should go 28. Put a kid on this, I wouldn't want him going any faster. But there's your top speed. I don't want to wheelie that. That doesn't have any snap to it. With these slow bikes, you have to ride the brake because you can't just chase it. Let's take the brake sensor out. Nice. So now I can throttle it while I... Oh no, that just disabled it. No. What was I thinking? Let me reconnect it. Oh no, I'm screwed. It ended up being really straightforward. There's only two wires here, and if they're crossing over, the bike's not gonna run. So if you just separate these wires, it'll run. From now on, I'm just gonna cut it clean. Okay, we're back out, fixed up. Time to test the wheelies and hill climb. The size and the suspension of this bike are obviously by far the best you'll see on a Razor. I'm excited about it. Let's see if it can do any kind of stunting out of the box. Even if I went up to the balance point, I'm not feeling the brakes. It's not looking like it on stock power, but we'll test that when we upgrade it. Let's go hit a hill climb. To remain scientific, this hill climb test will start on this plot of grass. And in the stock form, I'll be proud if it just makes it to the top. This hill is a way taller and steeper than it looks on camera. I have good hope in the wheels and tires, so much so that when I upgrade the power, I'm going to keep the stock wheels and tires. And the same goes for suspension. In this video, I'm just going to upgrade the power. So let's try it stock here. No! Oh! Ow! Why was that so dramatic? Ow! That actually hurt. Ow! That hurt. That hurt. You, yeah, you got a uh, rock in your butt. Uh, You're, they're ripped on both sides, by the way. What color undermare am I wearing? Is it red? Is it black? 
I should have worn red today. No, it didn't even make it this far up the hill. Why did I fall so hard too? I wasn't trying to be dramatic. That's just how it played out. Feels, uh, the suspension feels decent, right? All you need to change is the motor, the battery, and the controller. Oh my God. The motor, the battery, and controller. Just the most expensive things on the bike. That's all you have to change. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Would this be good for a kid? I don't know. I never had this growing up. Would I have wanted it growing up? Fuck yeah. Would I have cared it didn't make it up the hill climb? Fuck no. This thing definitely still rips. Let's strip this bike and get it ready for the upgrades. I'm taking the plastic off over the battery and it slides right out. It's nice to see a real battery in a Razor bike, although they spelled Razor in Chinese. Took off the rear wheel and the motor. There was one bolt that was really difficult to get to, but I made it happen with the sled. Came right off with the controller. Took off the brakes, gutted the whole bike. And just like that, we're stripped and ready to upgrade. In my next Prospect video, I'm turning this into a Supermoto. So I do have these Electron Co. Supermoto wheels. They're 90 by 90 10s. Beautiful Supermoto wheels, $250. Now this is everything we're installing today. And of course, it's all from Electron Co. We've got a motor stencil, which I'll show you in a minute. Our four piston hydraulic brakes, $115. An upgraded throttle with the full twist, three power modes and nice grips for $36. Key ignition with the voltmeter, $25. The Electron Co. True Moto controller for $599. Of course, it comes with the harness. And here's the motor. This is the EC4P V3 brushless motor from Electron Co. $249. We've got a chain and sprocket kit for our stock wheel, 85 teeth. This kit's $109. We've got our charger, $59. For our massive 76 volt, 20 amp hour battery. This is a $1,000 battery. We've got everything we need to turn this kid's toy into a fucking monster. Monster. Starting off fitting the battery, I was so excited to see how perfectly the upgraded battery fits into the stock housing. This plate screws on and that battery is locked in, it's not going anywhere. This is a perfect example of how the Prospect was designed for modders. It's not a coincidence this battery fits so perfect. However, even though this bike was designed for the EC4P motor, you still have to drill a hole. So they send you this 3D printed stencil. Yours will be made of metal, so you won't be drilling through it like I was. And that tells you exactly where to drill your hole. I fucked up and the hole I drilled was off by a little bit. So I had to double the size of the hole and remove some of this taco meat before installing the upgraded motor where it fit perfectly with two generous washers. It does look off center here, but this is exactly how it's supposed to be. Here you can see the stock motor mount that wasn't touching the stock motor is now perfectly fitted for the upgraded motor. To install the controller, I'm removing the seat and drilling four holes into this bracket under the seat. This bracket was intentionally added for upgraded controllers. I'm using the included mounting hardware to mount this controller, and I was having the hardest time getting this one nut on, so it's three quarters mounted, and it's pretty solid. Although I have a couple comments about its position that I'll address later. I'm attaching the harness, the positive, the negative and the three phase wires, green, blue, and yellow. Now taking the harness we just plugged into the controller, we can connect it to our throttle, our key ignition and voltmeter, and of course the motor. I'm keeping the stock wheels for this first test. All I need to do is change out the sprocket. It was impossible to get these bolts off and I realized after the fact that they are using both red and blue Loctite. I've never seen that before. I'm installing my massive 80 tooth Electron Co sprocket and throwing the rear wheel back on the bike. I'm removing the master link from the chain to fit it and I also need to take out a good section of this chain to lengthen it correctly. So I'm using a chain breaker and adding a new master link. The chain's super loose now, so I'm moving the wheel back with the chain tensioners, and we got a perfect tension on the chain. Time to plug it in and throttle it up. I'm installing the key ignition, the rear brake, the grip, front brake, and throttle, as well as the rear brake caliper, the front brake caliper, and some cable management especially the rear brake cable. That's always one you don't want to forget. Plastic's going back on and boom, the world's first fully upgraded Razor Prospec. The Prospec is now fully upgraded with the Electro & Co. Ultimate Razor Kit. Let's run it back with another top speed wheelie and hill climb test. We're on a full charge power mode three. You ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Smoking the Pro-S. Let's play what's the speed. We're probably going 56 or 57. I'm just guessing this, but it says up here on the GoPro, we'll know later. I just can't wheelie knobbies. It's like I'm cursed, but look at that. It pops up at a high speed, comfortable position. Wait, 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 wait. 
I forgot. There's an app for this. Let me turn it all the way up. It might not even be full power. Razer, 76 volt, EC4P, full power, full torque, full throttle aggression. <laughs> full speed. This thing's gonna be a bull. Everything's on max right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wait, that's way more. Here we go, full throttle on full power now. I'm kind of scared on the dirt tires. I don't want to go much faster than this. This this is probably 60. I hope it is. I like the size a lot. I'm really noticing how much more comfortable this is than any of the other Razors. Just because it's, it's just a little bit bigger. This might be the perfect size. We are back at the same plot of grass. Same wheels, same suspension, same everything. The only thing that's different now is the entire powertrain. So the battery, the motor, and the controller. We're running way way more power than it comes out of the box. I think about 10 times the power. Let's see if we can actually make it up the hill this time. Full power. Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't even control the power. Wait, that, hold on. That was harder to control than the Ventus going up this hill. He's a seven million dollar bull rider. I couldn't keep the wheel down at any point. The whole way? No, at all. This is incredible. Way more power than it should be. <laughs> the amount of power that Electro and Co put in this kit. It's the same kit that's on all the other razors I've built, but I feel like I can take more advantage of it on the slightly bigger frame. I cannot believe the power to weight ratio on this. Yeah, hit us with the burnout. <laughs> this is not a toy. I would never let anybody ride this. What about a kid? No, no, no absolutely fucking not. <laughs> It is almost too much power. It's crazy. I think it's just enough. <laughs> wow. What's the verdict? It probably is too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's wrap up with some pros and cons starting with the pros. Right off the bat, this is the best Razor bike ever made. It's the largest, fastest, full twist throttle. It's the most robust with the best wheels and suspension. It is the best Razor bike out of the box ever. It's also the best Razor for upgrades. For the first time, you don't have to sledgehammer your battery in there and use five straps. The bike is actually designed to accept these upgrades and handle them. That being said, let's address some cons. Ironically, it took more drilling and more spacers to fit the controller and motor on the Pro Spec than any of the other razors I've built. Despite being designed for these mods, it's not the easiest to mod. That would be the SX500, which doesn't need any cutting or drilling to upgrade the power with the same kit. Speaking of the SX, I do love the design and I was kind of hoping the Pro Spec would be sort of a scaled up version of the SX, but I do think the Pro Spec is a sharp looking bike, especially with the exposed battery. Some more cons, there's no kickstand. It's so inconvenient, all the other razors have have kickstands, they're actually great kickstands. It's just one more thing to buy and install now and it's super important. Perhaps my biggest concern is the controller placement. There's so much room elsewhere besides right above the rear wheel where water and rocks are pelted directly at exposed terminals. In my mind, it should be above the battery. Here are the three most important questions. Is the ProSpec fun out of the box with no mods? Yes. For children and adults alike, this is a fun bike on small trails, just no hill climbs or wheelies. Is the ProSpec a good deal out of the box? Well, comparing it to the Ebox 2.0 or Mototex or ETMs, for example, on paper, not really. And is the ProSpec a good platform to upgrade on? Un 
indubitably probably one of the best. Even with the same kit, the Prospect rips harder than any of the other razors. You can only order the Razor Prospect from electroandcompany.com. I do have a discount code, so I'll link it down below. As always, thank you so much for watching until the end. As they do. Yeah, I'm on